like that. Yeah, it's good music, eh? So <laughs> why is it so hot? We've been talking about this for the last couple of days. We're here, if you're searching online, you're seeing a lot of terms thrown out like heat dome. Uh, this is a fancy way of saying heat is trapped at the Earth's surface because of high pressure loss. So let's take a look at the weather system this morning. And you can see right across North America, really, it is very, very hot. Some intense reds are building up through the southern United States as well. This is the upper air pattern. So I'm taking you about uh, 18 thousand uh, feet up and you can see that that jet stream where the warm air moves north font is is <laughs> north of the Toronto area it's right through central Ontario southern Quebec as well and so all of this warm air basically from the Gulf of Mexico has traveled its way north that high pressure aloft so up in the atmosphere is just trapping it think of high pressure as as a heavier air mass pushing down basically is what you can think of it now we've got those extreme heat warnings that are in place across Ontario Quebec southern Nova Scotia they do depend on region for that criteria but basically it means it's very hot it's very humid as well in terms of how hot it will be this kind of cycles through the next couple of days but we'll pause it for this afternoon across southern ontario southern quebec that's a look at potential temperatures and humidex values can but, i pause you for a second yes like with the humidex course. values because a lot of people get confused as to how that functions right? yeah so that's a calculated uh, amount the temperature we can actually measure with a thermometer that's right. why it has a degree symbol the humidex is a calculated value based on the amount of moisture that's in the Air, the relative humidity. So how much moisture is in there? About 60%. That's going to make it feel a lot warmer. And the reason being is that when the air is more saturated, your sweat cannot evaporate. And so that evaporation that would happen with your sweat uh, coming off your body would cool you down. That can't happen when the air is saturated. Let's just go back to the system really quick if we can. I'll show you Saturday. So this is today, Friday. Look at what happens as we head into Saturday. It's going to oh, feel man. a lot warmer. This particular model, I'll remind you, has a cold bias. So it'll likely be a little bit hotter than this uh, and feeling potentially closer to 45, 46 for the time. This reminds me a lot of like one side is my age and the other side is how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kind of the same thing, right? It's going to be very, very hot. I mean, enjoy it. By all yeah. means, get out there and enjoy it. Soak up and those splash pads. be safe pads. as well. Yeah, Drink lots safe. of water. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.